with early stage breast cancer. The lymph node in the region closest to the cancer, known as the sentinel node, often is removed and forwarded to the pathologist for closer examination. The removal of this one node is known as sentinel node biopsy or dissection. The lymph nodes function as filters for the body's lymphatic drainage system. As a result, the lymph nodes are likely to collect or filter out any cancer cells that might be floating among the fluid that is draining from the cancerous area of the breast. If the pathologist detects cancer cells in the sentinel node, it likely means that the cancer cells have spread beyond the breast region. Until only recently, physicians believed that additional treatment was necessary to lower the risk of cancer returning, including the removal of other underarm lymph nodes, a procedure known as axillary node surgery. Surgery. Now the American Society of Clinical Oncology has released new guidelines on the use of sentinel node biopsy for individuals diagnosed with early stage breast cancer. Previous guidelines recommended that anyone receiving an early breast cancer diagnosis with one or more positive sentinel lymph nodes undergo axillary node surgery. The new guidelines are more specific and explain when and if women should receive axillary node surgery. The guidelines state that women with no positive sentinel node biopsies should undergo axillary node surgery. In addition, women who have one or two positive sentinel nodes who also intend to receive lumpectomy with radiation also do not need to undergo axillary node surgery. Only women who intend to undergo mastectomy without radiation should receive axillary node surgery.